Call of Duty 4 marks the return of Infinity War to the Call of Duty series. Uh, it's set in modern times, though it uses some fictional countries and fictional enemies. As is typical in the Call of Duty game, you're going to play from multiple perspectives. You're basically going to bounce around between being a, a British SAS officer and being a US Marine. Unlike most Call of Duty games where it's kind of three separate storylines, this is actually one continuous storyline and as you're jumping around you're actually continuing to progress the story as you go. So it's actually a much tighter narrative. Now the single player campaign on the normal mode is only going to take you maybe about six hours to beat if even that. Uh, when you bump the difficulty up it's going to take you an extra two, three, four hours to beat because it gets much much harder. If you play Call of Duty games before you know that they're known for intense action, very accurate weapons, a very good feel for the time that they were set in. Uh, that's the same case now even though it's in modern combat. Uh, all the weapons feel really accurate and what's really important is that all of the squad AI has been upgraded so so there's no squad command that's not set up like Rainbow Six or you know Brothers in Arms where you have to tell your squad where to go and you don't need it because the squad AI is so good that they fight as realistic as you can imagine in fact they save your lives a lot of times there'll be grenades that'll be thrown at your feet and you'll see your squad mate grab it pick it up and throw it back at the enemy the enemy AI is also advanced from what it was in Call of Duty 2, which was the last Infinity War game. Uh, you'll see enemies taking flank positions a lot more often. Uh, you know, there are still going to be those stupid terrorists that'll run straight at you or that'll just keep bobbing up and down behind cover. But for the most part, they actually fight intelligently. Uh, so they're going to use a lot of suppressing fire to keep you from being able to move. But at the same time, they're going to chuck grenades in there so that you have to move. So it does become a lot more of a challenge. What's really good about the single player is that there's a great variety in the mission structure. You know, instead of just always, you know, going around shooting enemies, you're going to have a lot of variation to those mission structures. So there's one time where you're going to be in a helicopter and you're just on a gun in the helicopter and you're just blowing up guys on roofs. Uh, there's one mission where you're actually in this uh, really advanced gunship that the military actually uses where all you see is just, uh, you're looking down at a screen, you see little white dots that are people and you're just blowing them up with different caliber guns and you see these huge explosions and you actually see the little guys flying left and right and uh, it's very eerie because you'll hear your co-pilot just saying things like, boom. Blew that one up. Oopsie daisy. And also there's a sniper mission where you actually get to go hardcore sniper where you actually see uh, the effect of the wind on the bullet because you're doing a long range sniper shot. Uh, you have to worry about the Coriolis effect which is basically from the rotation of the earth. So you have to adjust your long range sniper shot to these things just as a real sniper would have to do. So there's a lot of reason to replay the single player mode. Once you beat it the first time you unlock something called arcade mode which uh, it's basically the same game except now you're getting points for every kill that you do, every stylish kill that you do, every dog whose neck you snap. So even though it is relatively short, you're probably going to play through it at least twice. The bulk of your playtime is going to be devoted to the multiplayer mode. And Call of Duty 4 has awesome multiplayer. Right out of the box it has 16 maps, uh, it has technically 13 different modes of play. Um, all throughout those maps, uh, there's going to be player and ranked maps, matches, and pretty much like Halo where the ranked matches are going to have you playing through a playlist that Infinity Ward has set up. Uh, there should be a little bit more variety than there is in Halo though. They're not going to, Infinity Ward doesn't plan to be as restrictive, so you should be able to see all the different modes and all the different maps and really enjoy them all. Now you got your standard stuff, like you've got free for all, you've got team deathmatch. You've also got some other really cool stuff, like you have a version of Capture the Flag where instead of a flag, it's a bomb. It's sort of a very Counter-Strike setup where uh, one team is going to get the bomb, the other team has got to defend the location where we're trying to plant the bomb. But there's a different version of this mode called Sabotage, in which there's one bomb, but each uh, team has a headquarters. So you're basically fighting over this one bomb and you each have to destroy the other person's headquarters. And this back and forth can actually go on for 15 or 20 minutes as the bomb is constantly dropped and picked up. And then there are some variants to the modes. Uh, there's a hardcore version, which you can put on any of the modes and any of the maps. Hardcore is there's no HUD, which means that there's not even a grenade HUD. So when a grenade drops, you don't see a little icon telling you where it is. You just hear a clink, 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 and then you blow up. There's also basically one shot, one kill. It's realistic damage. And then you have the exact opposite called old school, where you start off with an Uzi, and every weapon on the map is a pickup. And uh, there's also power-ups as well that you can grab too and stack on each other. And it's sort of a very old school PC version. 
And the weirdest thing is you can actually click on both options so that you can have something called old core, which is old school rules where everything is a pickup, but uh, with hardcore uh, reality physics added to it so that it's still one hit, one kill, no HUD, uh, which kind of creates a third variant, which is really interesting. Now, along with all those modes, there's a really deep RPG system, uh, persistent ranking system that you're going to be using uh, throughout your experience with Call of Duty 4. You're going to be gaining experience for doing kills, for winning matches, and all that stuff will power you up. And then you're going to choose the weapons that you like, and using those weapons more and more is going to power up those weapons and unlock new scopes specifically for those weapons and new challenges. And along with that, you're going to have what are called perks, which are basically skills or powers. And you can have three of those. And again, as you progress and gain more levels, you're going to unlock new perks that are available. The perks are really cool. There'll be things like, uh, you know, enhanced uh, health so that you can live a little bit longer. But you can also get a bullet penetra or deep penetration which is basically makes your bullets travel through walls a little bit faster. If some guy's hiding behind a wood wall, you know, you can just shoot right through that wood and kill him. Now it's going to stop, it's going to slow down the bullet just a little bit, but again, if you have the penetration added, it's going to go through much faster and have a much more likely chance of killing. Uh, there'll be other things too, like you can add an RPG so that you can, you know, blow people up, which everybody likes to do in multiplayer. There's a lot of variety, and right now there's a level cap of level 60 in the multiplayer, but Infinity Ward plans on adding to that as they go along, as well as likely adding some new maps and maybe even some new modes. We're just going to see how things go. So for certain, anybody who's a fan of shooters, anybody who's a fan of you know military shooters, absolutely go out there and get Call of Duty 4. You will not be disappointed.